All right, let's uh, assume that we have our Keycloak OpenID Connect client built and that the service accounts are enabled for that client. And we now want that client to be able to watch on behalf of uh, a collection. This is assuming Stigman Watcher is the utility that we're, we're looking at. What we need to do on the uh, Stig Manager side is first off, we need to log in uh, as a user with administrative privileges so that we get this part of the nav tree or the Explorer available to us. Choose user grants. Um, if for some reason you have fired up uh, the Stigman Watcher uh, before doing this, then you'll actually already have a user for that service account. Uh, so you can skip the creation step. Uh, and then you'll just go ahead and, and modify that user. I'm going to assume we're going to do this where we haven't fired up the Stigman Watcher utility yet. So we, we need to create a user whose username is the client ID that we're uh, going to be using. Uh, in the earlier videos, I used, I think, machine service. Let's pivot now and say we'll, we'll have a client whose name is Stigman Watcher. So it's a little more uh, clear to us what's going on. We would then want to give that client or user access to the collection that we want to watch on. So uh, let's say I choose that collection. The access level needs to be manage or better. Manage or owner, I wouldn't recommend owner. That's more privileged than is necessary. So manage is uh, sufficient. So that's really all we need to do to pre-register that user. Uh, in anticipation of a video that will explain how to use Stigman Watcher, we're going to need, at least today, we're going to need the ID of that collection. So I, I added Stigman Watcher now to this collection, Newport Lab Windows. Note its ID. It's 13. Uh, that'll change soon. I'll, I'll, I'll let you specify the collection by name, but we're early stages and so we need to know the ID. All right, so that's now the final uh, configuration step before we get to actually use the watcher.